hey 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 and welcome to brooklyn's barbie bay and today i have a couple of great new finds that i found while i was out at target yes i found one of the fresh beat dolls lox rockstar very interested to see what these dolls are about i also found the new um latinistas and i'm thinking these are like a secondary doll to the fashionistas um on the naturalista dolls um, so I was surprised to see her. I also found the I Love Mickey Mouse ILY doll and Abby Abominable doll. So I'm excited to open these and unbox them with you all today. Sit back, relax, and let's see if these are dolls that we want to make part of our dollyverse and definitely want to um, showcase for all of you all. Okay, so here we have the Fresh Beats um Lox Rockstar doll and this is um, one of the newer line dolls from EPI it says and as you all know it has Dr. Lisa on the bottom of the box um, and it reminds me somewhat of a brat doll not a brat doll sorry an LOL or a rainbow high doll in a way um, so it says fresh beats music is a universal language that inspires us to sing freely express authentically and live to the beat of our own drum be extra as the stars lox rock star it says lox is a second generation american and proud of her afro latina heritage despite her rocker style lox is top of her class in music school she loves to use her classical training in her rock music when she's not writing music she's rocking it for causes to help you to help young girls so that's really cute so let me go ahead and get her out the box and let's review her okay first and foremost i must say i love the fact that the hair is not tied down on these dolls from the packaging the the doll is just packaged around the necks the arms and around her legs which makes it really really easy for you to um not have her hair have those those little marks you know the tie marks in it um so i absolutely do love that so this is locks and let me put her box down i think she's really cute i love these little twists this bantu twist in her hair i think that is super cute they go all the way around and i'm quite sure you can take them down because it does say on the box that you can wash the doll's hair and restyle it and so forth um and i absolutely love this color um, hair on her beautiful skin tone. Her face is very, very pretty. Let's go ahead and get a close up of her face. So she's got some, um, I want to say that's like honey, I call it honey colored eyes, but also that um, eyeliner is honey colored. She's got a little matte um, purplish looking uh, lipstick on. Okay, brown eyebrows. She comes um, wearing this um, coat, which feels really good. It's like suede or whatever that material might be a long um i call them a trench coat um look on her she is articulated so she moves at the head the elbow the wrist moves um i'm gonna take this coat off for a minute so we can kind of get into her because it's kind of hard to see everything with the coat on not sure if her hands are like the type of hands that just pull off um and I don't want to really do it and mess the doll up. But, I mean, the coat seems to be a little difficult coming off. Hold on one second, guys. Let me try to... Okay, I'm back. The hands come off. So, I like the fact that you can just now slide the outfit off the doll. And put the... And this lets me know I can definitely slide other doll clothes on. Okay, that was a little difficult. But, let me put her hand back on. There you go okay so there she is without her purple trench she comes with a really cute black skirt she has a purple top on it's almost like um crocodile i call it like a crocodile material can you see that okay and then she's got on these um really cute high black boots now you already know what i want to know because i'm looking right now at my what you think I'm looking at my LOL and I'm wondering, can our fits fit? So I definitely want to try. So give me a moment. Let's see how the shoes fit. If she can wear LOL shoes or would it be our um, rainbow high doll shoes? Either way, they look kind of similar, don't they guys? 
Okay, let's see. Let's let's do a little trial real quick. Okay, so just to show you, like this is what the foot looks like on this doll. Okay. And this shoe is a little like it fits in there, but it doesn't fit all the way in there. Like I think it's a little too wide for the LOL shoe for this particular shoe, I'm thinking. Um, because the LOL's feet, although they seem like similar, right? The LOL's feet are a little bit slimmer, I think, than this doll's foot is. This doll's foot is a little bit wider than the LOL. So let me try something else though. Hold on. Okay, so I'm trying the LOL. I'm sorry, the Rainbow High doll clothes on. And I think this is gonna be closer. I'm gonna try don't 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 leave me yet. I'm gonna try the um clothing from our LOL doll next. But so this the dress, this is an LOL, I mean a rainbow high dress. It fits, but it's a little big in the top. So I would probably like try to see what else. But the shoe I want to show you guys is too big. Okay. It, I mean it fits on the foot because of how her arch is, but it's you know it's it doesn't like fit fit. Like it's not a good 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 fit on her shoe. So let me try something else. I want to see if the pants fit. This is a dress. I'm going to find some pants and see if they fit because if so, we got a winner with a chicken dinner. Hold on. Okay, so here she is in um, a pair of jeans and these are Sunny's jeans. As you can see, they fit, right? Especially around the hip area. Just a little, going to be a little, you know, bigger in the waist a bit. Um, the t-shirt fits pretty good, I think. So there are some clothing in Rainbow High that these dolls can absolutely fit, you know, perfectly well. This doll has a little smaller body. That's why I'm getting ready to try her on now with the, um, with something from our, um, you know what? I didn't even think about like the young girls. Let me try, um, the Rainbow High Junior dolls and see if their clothes fit too, just because now I'm all in. Okay, hold on. Okay, so I think we got a winner. The clothes fit much better from the Rainbow High Junior Dolls. Now on the shoe, she can fit in the shoe. Her heel, this is a flatter foot shoe and her her look how high her heel is compared to this doll's heel. So I didn't wanna, you know, like smush it all the way in too much, but I guess you could kind of see if you can get it in there but she absolutely fits the clothes really good so if you have junior high dolls um clothing then these doll fit these dolls would fit the clothing um and look absolutely amazing i can still try to see if i can push her foot down i don't want to do too much because i don't want to mess up the shoe um but absolutely amazing on the rainbow high junior doll clothes much better than the other one so now let me try a lol um doll and see if any of the shoes or the outfit can fit okay so i grabbed um one of my lol outfits and they have this outfit right here fits really cute on her it's a little skirt set from um i forgot the doll set but she came with a whole lot it's like the i, I can't get into it right now because i don't remember but she absolutely can fit um this outfit it is a two-piece skirt set and it's the lol so it looks like this particular doll can fit. I have a couple of more outfits like I was playing around with and grabbing. I'm gonna try the little baby suit top real quick and show you um, that so far the LOL and the Junior dolls can fit these dolls. And I like to do this because before you start buying stuff, this is me, before I start buying stuff and investing in it, I need to be able to make sure I can, you know, change my doll up, give her a really different outfit, be, especially when the doll doesn't come with um, clothes. You know what I mean? She comes with one outfit. I don't want to just keep her in the one outfit. So why would I buy more of these dolls if I could not um, play around with them and grab um, a couple of more outfits from other stuff to dress them in. So let's see what the little bathing suit outfit looks like on her. Okay, here we have her in an LOL OMG doll bathing suit. It fits perfectly. So for me, with these dolls, now I'm going to go grab the other three because there are three that are in this set because now I have another doll that I can rearrange her hair, do different things with, and she wears the LOL doll outfits, which are absolutely super, super cute. Um, I want to, so we're still on shoes, right? So right now she's just got these black boots, but I've got to find a shoe and I don't know if it's probably a rainbow high shoe, um, um, not rainbow high shoe. Cause we said those were too big, right? So I don't know if it could be maybe a monster high doll shoe that I need to look at, or if I need to look at, um, what other doll do I have that I can like 
let me see i'm trying to see if i have something close by because i don't want to just stop the video because we couldn't find a shoe let me try one more thing okay guess what maybe it was just a pink shoe because this is the rainbow high um not rainbow high excuse me the omg boot and she can absolutely fit in it okay and i just got this off of this omg doll so she can fit in the boot so i think it's just you have to press it down in there um but so she she looks amazing so she I, I told you when i saw the doll i was like it reminds me of either rainbow high or omg doll so if that's the case then she should be able to rock all of the omg styles which is great for me so now i definitely will be going to get the other dolls okay let's get on to our next doll that i picked up okay so now we are on to our second well yeah second doll that we have unboxed it could be third could be fourth could be fifth i think you know i'm constantly unboxing and sometimes i forget but I have now the ILY Celebrate Disney I Love Mickey Mouse doll. Now, this is the one that's made by Jax, the Jax Toy Company, and not the Disney doll. Um, so this is going to be interesting for me because I haven't had a Jax doll. So I'm trying to see, you know, is this a better look? But I do like what I'm seeing so far. Um, so let me go ahead and get her out the box and kind of show you up front what our doll comes with and what she looks like. Okay, so now I have her out of the box, and she's absolutely cute. I'm going to bring her in for, I left her, her glasses hanging on her arm. Let me take these off, and we'll go over everything that she comes with. But right now, when you take the dog out of the box, she has a lot of beautiful braids in her hair, as you can see. Um, I think they did a great job. Oh, forgot to cut that out. I'll do it in a minute. Um, with, the, um, with the hair, her face sculpt is very pretty. Now, these are not the inset eyes. These are screen printed, but this looks amazing. She looks really, really good. Okay, so she comes with this red um, faux leather jacket. It has like the Mickey Mouse heart um, right there, as you can see on the lapel. Um, and then she has on a white shirt with Mickey winking at you, a pair of black shorts with some, um, looks like, like little, they feel like little dots, like um, little, um, I don't know if it's supposed to be um, kind of like sparkles or whatever, but it's um, like little darts on her on the front of her jean shorts because she doesn't have it on the back of them, as you can see. She comes with a pair of black boots, and the black boots have the Mickey Mouse um, on the well, the M for Mickey on each side of them. She is articulated, and her knee does bend. A little stiff though so you got to give it a little oil with, you know not really put oil in it but just really kind of like like you know get it together a little bit um i like the jacket i'm not too crazy about fringe you know but she does have that that she comes with and then um she comes with a second outfit which i thought was really cute she came with a pair of let me see if i can stand her up so she can stand while i'm talking if she can she might not be able to but that's okay um well, she can't so she comes with a pair of blue um jeans and the blue jeans have mickey mouse on them she also has a red white um and black um polka dot shirt really cute like a one-sided shirt she also comes with a purse as a mickey on it with the black handle she comes with a pair of black glasses with again like that polka dot looking finish studded finish that's what it is that's what i meant to say studs um she also comes with another purse for her outfit and this one is a long hanging mickey purse with like mickey chain or like just some silverish chain going around it that's really cute she also comes with another pair of shoes i think i like these shoes better and it has mickey and minnie on the shoe isn't that cute you got minnie mouse here and you got mickey here like the old school and then she comes with this ring for you. Looks like you can, you know, have a little ring on your finger there. Oh, I think I want to do the rest of this one with the ring. And then she has a um, a necklace, a Mickey necklace. Okay, super cute. I absolutely love. It. Oh my God, not the hair coming out. The not the hair coming out. Okay, a couple of strands of her hair have just come right out i hope this is not all of them maybe that just happened on her just a couple um she does have like the little fine baby hairs 
so if you want to um, put her hair up or do something you absolutely can with this doll I love it I absolutely love her now I'm thinking that the clothes are like our regular clothes and our regular doll clothes that we have so I want to see if our made to move doll or any of our dolls can wear their clothes and not have an issue with it so I'm going to sit her uh -oh, sit her down and then I'm going to find one of our dolls and let's see how her fit kind of fits on the doll okay so here we have our made to move Barbie doll and as you can see she absolutely can fit the fit of course she cannot wear the shoes as they are too big but I did find a pair of red heels that set this outfit out she has the doll's necklace on the doll's um, eye shades and the long purse that came with this particular set so absolutely she can wear the fit and if she can wear it I'm quite sure she can wear the one that our lovely Mickey um, outfitted inspired doll can wear I want to just try it on one more doll that's a little bit thicker than her to see how this outfit fits okay and on our plus doll as you can see the pants do not fit but the shirt does fit so on your plus size made the move this outfit is not going to work but let's try another doll okay on our fresh doll everything fits but it's pretty tight back here guys so you really have to stretch stretch and stretch to get it on um so i definitely wouldn't put these pants on the doll because it although it can almost close it's a really really tight fit one more doll to look at okay so i'm back and i now have our integrity doll who as you know can fit the shoes and fit the entire outfit absolutely love it love it love it so of course you know her feet are arch so it's going to make it kind of look like this but it's okay because it absolutely works the shirt works the pants works everything looks great she looks great in the necklace and also um she looks great in the mickey mouse purse so it's good to know that at least a few of my dolls can absolutely wear the outfit and it looks amazing okay so let's look at the next doll that i picked up okay the next doll that i have is abby abominable i finally got abby and i am so excited abby looks a little thicker than the snickers i don't know what y'all thinking let me get her out of the box she has um tund tundra which is her mammoth it looks like as um her pet uh, i found this doll um where did i get her at i think i found her at walmart no target i found her at target as well it says monster type is an extra chill yeti monster must have snowflake backpack ice cream treat and tundra so let's go ahead and get both out of the pack and let's talk about what we got okay, so now that i have abby out of the box she is absolutely gorgeous and i would definitely call her my plus size abominable girl she's absolutely gorgeous i love it she comes with a pair of these frosted i'm going to call them frosted split leg pants that are purple she's got um look at these shoes you guys isn't that cute it has like the ice at the bottom they like furry sandals um kind of give you that vibe she's got a fanny pack on that is um blue like ice that goes all the way around she's got like a midriff t-shirt on that's purple um mesh on the arms with some fur and then she's got the white shirt with the icicle in the front of it i love her she's gorgeous this i've never been a huge fan of abby but i absolutely am a huge fan now because she's gorgeous and her hair oh my gosh y'all know i don't like the hair i don't like the type of hair it is and i hate tinsel and you see the tinsel just falling out as i'm playing in it right so but above that i'm still loving abby she looks amazing her face paint is gorgeous want to bring her in to show you that she's a very very pretty doll um so i'm loving my girl abby she also comes with what looks like to be like a little you know a little frock that is um that goes around her i guess this is her piece of clothing that she came with right so like a little sweater um they go with her so that's super cute abby also came with tundra of course I'll show you that she also comes with a backpack that does look like it opens hold on a second does the backpack open oh, it looks like it opens not unless i'm doing something wrong it does open and my nails might be the reason why it's okay there it is so her backpack does open and clamps and closes super cute right it's a snowflake 
Then she also comes with a pair of ice glasses. I love these little blue glasses. She also comes with her phone, okay? Very cute, light purple. Um, she comes with a popsicle. It says, rest in peace. Isn't that neat? That is adorable. And it's chocolate. And she has this little cute little cup where the top comes off the cup. Isn't that cute? And it has like little fang over it. I think this is like a really adorable piece that they gave you with the little straw. It's gorgeous. And then you also have um, her snow corpse. So these are like some little candies or whatever that she possibly would eat. So this is Abby with all the shedding. <clears throat> but she's an absolutely cute doll and I love it. I absolutely love Abby and I'm so glad to add her to my collection. And I hope they come out with some different Abbies because I love the fact that Abby is a thick girl. I am loving this. Let me know if you have an Abby or which one is your favorite Monster High doll that has just come out recently. I know we have Torali. No, Torali came out in the beginning, but um, there's another one um, that's kind of purplish too. I don't know why I'm forgetting. And this would be Twyla. So I remembered really quickly. Okay, so this is our Abby doll and I'm loving it. So let's go to the next dolls that I happen to get on this shopping haul. Okay, so now I have the Latinistas. I found these at Target and absolutely fell in love. These dolls, rate the, their price point was $12.99 and I am in love. It says I'm Liv, I'm Lola, and I'm Juanita. So, um, <clears throat> or Juliana. Why did I get Juanita? Juliana. Um, these dolls are gorgeous and I'm believing they're from the same line of people who did the Naturalista dolls because they look so familiar. Um, and I really cannot wait to get each of them out of their box and for us to go over them. But I'm also thinking maybe I have a donor body to see what one would look like um, as a um, made to move doll. You know, I like my dolls with movement. Not sure, but I'm looking at arms and I don't think that these have that. So let me take each out the box and we'll talk about it. Okay, to start we have Juliana. And Juliana comes with a really cute little pink purse. She comes with a orange shirt that says Latinistas on the front of it. She has on a pair of orange parachute pants that have like faux pockets um, that do kind of flip up but nothing can go in them, just so you know. And she has on a pair of orange heels. Her hair is gorgeous. She has a pair of yellow um, hoop earrings that have the elves in them. So I'm going to bring in a little closer so you can get a look. See, this is Juliana. And she's very gorgeous. Let's see if she can stand. Oh, she stands independently. I'm absolutely loving it. Absolutely loving it. I love the shoes. I'm wondering whose shoes she can wear. You know, I'm always there trying to figure out who can wear what, right? So I cannot wait to do my next haul, to do my next doll haul, so that we can see what the Latinistas can wear and whose clothes they can wear. Hopefully um, some of our other dolls can wear some of their outfits as well, or we can kind of change some things around. Okay, let's go to our next doll. Okay, our next doll is Liv, and Liv has curly black hair. She has um, heart-shaped silver earrings. She comes with a black necklace. She comes with her bodycon dress on. Absolutely good people. She has her bodycon dress on. It is green um, with blue L's on it or it says Latinistas along the side and the perimeter of the top is also in blue. She comes with a really cute watch with the silver in the tone in the silver inside of it. And she has a pair of black boots on that say Latinistas along the side of it. She's super super cute. I love Liv. I absolutely love Liv. Um you know her hair is very curly. It's you know you can style it how you want to style it. Very cute. I think they did a great job with the doll's hair. I can definitely say I'm very, very much impressed. Let's see if she'll stand for us independent. Okay, there we go. All right, I have one more to show you, so here we go. Okay, and lastly, I have um, Lola. And Lola has on a pink um, outfit, like a pink dress skirt set. So her top says Latinista, it's in pink with yellow, where it says Latinista. She has pink hoop earrings with the L's in the um, inside of them. Then she has on a skirt that has um, this mesh at the bottom of it. Um, it's pink, it matches the top except for the mesh. And then she's got on some black, I call them combat boots, okay? 
very 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 cute i love this i absolutely love the girls i think they're gorgeous her hair is um pulled back into a half ponytail with some hanging down at the sides the girls look absolutely amazing now i love to have one you know that stays the same i like the fact that the dolls also can stand on their own um but i just want to see how they would look with a made to move body so i do have two of my dolls i'm going to use for let's see for Liv, i'm going to use my made to move by um, barbie with the um purple top and then for juliana I'm going to see if my green top Barbie would kind of mesh and go with her. I don't know if she'd go better with Liv. I'm not thinking Liv. I'm thinking more of um, her with Juliana. So let me make a switch and let's see how we did. Okay, and now we are back and we have the girls with made to move bodies. Absolutely phenomenal. Now the only thing is she can wear the boots. Um, on the live doll but on Juliana she's not going to be able to wear these shoes so I'm not going to uh, turn her into a made to move so she'll have some extra shoes and so probably with some of our other dolls but they absolutely fit the body um, fit the uh, it absolutely fits on the doll the clothes look great and I can also find a couple of really cute heels or so for my fashionista um, even with her having pink in her shirt, I can absolutely put on a pair of pink heels for her. And as you can see, hold on one second. Her fit would still fit. Okay, so absolutely the dolls um, work on made to move bodies. And I'm excited because that gives me a little bit more range to play with our girls. Thank you guys so much. I got a lot of dolls this week. So I'm really glad to show you guys what I got, what um, some of their outfits can fit in. I'm ex super excited about the um, new dolls from, um, uh, what was the other uh, group that we got? This doll right here, because she actually can wear all of the LOL. So I'm extremely happy about that. I'm just really glad about all the dolls that I got. If you have any questions, go down below in the comments and um, drop your question and I'll make sure to answer it. Don't forget, I've got a couple of videos coming up with some fashion finds and some who can wear what. And these are not the IL um, Y fashions. I have a couple of new fashions that are coming up. If you don't mind, go ahead and hit the like button if you like this video. And go ahead and subscribe if you're not subscribing. Um, and any questions you have about these great dolls, don't forget to ask me. Thank you guys for having an amazing day. And thanks again for watching Brooklyn's Barbie Bay. Bye.